know, we feed over 20,000 people every Thanksgiving. And to tell you the truth, it's hard for us as a nonprofit. Not only do we feed, but we have a medical clinic, clothing, rent assistance, on and on. We had many corporations cut back on us because of the economy, or so they say. So when it came to Thanksgiving, we didn't have any turkeys. Now what is Thanksgiving without a turkey? All right? Especially enough for 20,000 people. And let me tell you something. He didn't have to do it. He doesn't need the PR. Lord knows he's everywhere you look. This man took out a checkbook and wrote us a check for $18,000. And when Dr. Martin Luther King died, my father, Hosea Williams, kind of freaked out, flipped out. So they sent him on a trip around the world. And what he took with him on that trip around the world, and he met with people like Mao Zedong and Haley Selassie, the heads of countries, was something called the Martin Luther King Medallion. And after he died, no more could be made because the mold had been broken. But there's the blood of the ancestors that went into the making of that medallion that went to 17 heads of 17 different countries on this earth. And only they have it, and a very few people we call foot soldiers. Those are the people that marched till their feet were bloody. They marched till they were beat down with billy clubs. They were killed, they were persecuted. You have to earn the right to wear this medallion. You can't buy it, and you can't get it. T.I., I'm giving you this medallion. Oh. For two reasons. I'm giving you this medallion, both because of what you are, but more importantly, because of what you will become. We want, when you look at this, to remember, God has a call on your life. God has a call on your life. Remember. Last week, the King Foundation, last week, T.I. the King Foundation was in Houston. They did the first annual Give Back Your Gun Day, and Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee sent you this certificate to a man to be presented today on their behalf. Y'all give T.I. a big round of applause.
I'm so high. So, you know, I guess, you know what I'm saying, like I always say, man, what got me in that parking lot was, you know, the, the concern for my own life because my partner had got killed. And, you know, I really felt like I needed to have all the things that I had. But now, I feel like, man, I'm honoring my partner life the right way. Yeah. And, 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 and you guys are all heard me in. So I want to say thank you. And this ain't the end, you know. Like, before I just walked in the door, it was some news reporter asking me how I felt about having to lose my freedom, you know, in the near future. But now, I don't see myself as losing my freedom. I see myself as taking care of my last little piece of business to get my freedom back. It wasn't long ago that I felt like I was up on the pile of rocks and couldn't see no light. And now I'm at, I can see the finish line. I'm at the end of this journey of mine, ready to close this chapter and begin on another one. So I ain't sad. I ain't upset. Y'all ain't got to worry about me. God got me. I've been in part of my situation. And believe me, it could have been a thousand percent worse. So I'm going to thank God for, you know, me being able to resolve the situation, you know what I'm saying, with, with this year and a day. And after the, and, 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 on, and on 367, I'm going to be back in business. I appreciate y'all. And we're going to make sure we're doing business while we're going to 365 plus one. I'm going to tell y'all a secret though. I don't think he's going. Y'all get to ya. He always said to find out the God that he is. I don't think he's going home, but he's a very blessed young man. Y'all get to ya. I think I'm going to call him.